Texas is removing tons of sand from the Gulf of Mexico to get to Mexico. Beneath the waters of the Gulf, a transformation is unfolding. Massive dredgers carve deeper channels, cranes rise over the horizon, and breakwaters push into the sea. This is Project 11, the bold expansion of the Houston Ship Channel. At the same time, Mexico is reshaping its own future through sweeping upgrades in Veracruz and Altamira. These mega projects form an economic bridge across borders, but the question remains, can growth on such a scale be achieved without sacrificing the fragile ecosystems that surround it? The Port of Houston is not just a harbor. It is a strategic lifeline, a place where steel, water, and human effort meet to sustain the movement of goods that keep industries alive across America. In 2024, it is set to manage 53 million tons of cargo and 4.1 million containers, a figure that speaks to its unmatched capacity. Here, 74% of all container traffic in the Gulf of Mexico passes through, proof of its dominance and its essential role in connecting American businesses with the world beyond. Among the many trading nations linked to this gateway, Mexico stands out as one of the most vital. In 2023, trade between Houston and Mexico reached $24.9 billion, placing this port among the most important United States entry points for commerce with its southern neighbor. Each ship that arrives or departs binds the two economies closer, providing industries on both sides of the border with the goods they need to grow. But strength does not come without strain. For all its power, the Houston Ship Channel carries limitations that press against its future. In certain stretches, the channel narrows to little more than 525 feet, forcing vessels to slow and wait, creating bottlenecks that ripple through the supply chain. Its depth, 45 feet, no longer matches the demands of modern shipping. Today's Neo Panamax ships, larger and heavier than the generations before them, require close to 50 feet of draft. Without that depth, these giants cannot enter fully loaded, restricting the port's ability to compete for the most lucrative global routes. Captains navigating these waters must also face the peril of the Texas Chicken, a maneuver where massive vessels pass each other in tight confines with delicate precision. Though practiced with skill, it remains a reminder of the hazards that accompany growth. The Houston Ship Channel expansion, Project 11, is well underway. It is here that Project 11 takes shape. Designed to widen and deepen the channel, this initiative is not merely construction. It is a declaration that Houston intends to remain a leader in maritime trade. By easing congestion, improving navigational safety, and welcoming the largest ships afloat, the project will safeguard the port's competitive edge and secure its place as a hub for global commerce. But its story is not only about steel walls and dredged channels, it is also about opportunity. When the work is done, the benefits will spread even wider. Greater capacity will bring more ships, more cargo, and more business for the industries that thrive on logistics, shipping services, and supply chain support. Allows us to bring even more goods as we're facing a challenge with supply chains as we're facing a challenge with inflation, so if there was ever anything we could do, this is it. Beyond the port itself, nearby communities will feel the ripple. Warehouses will rise, trucking routes will expand, and commercial districts will grow stronger as new investments flow in. For the people of Houston, for Texas, and for its partner, Mexico, Project 11 is more than infrastructure. It is the promise of a future where trade moves swiftly, safely, and in greater volumes than ever before. But how can such a promise be turned into reality? What does it take to transform a narrow, crowded waterway into a channel ready for the ships of tomorrow? With meticulous planning and state-of-the-art construction methods, this effort will reshape the channel's infrastructure, improve safety, and bring a new era of efficiency to one of America's most important maritime gateways. The expansion is vast in scope. Key stretches of the channel are being widened to nearly 699 feet, a breadth that will allow larger vessels to pass each other with confidence. Depth is being pushed further as well, 
reaching about 46 feet in most sections, enough to welcome ships that once had to turn away half-loaded. These enhancements are essential in an age when cargo vessels have grown in both size and ambition, carrying more goods than ever before across oceans that link factories, consumers, and markets worldwide. Safety remains at the heart of this work. The widened and deepened channel reduces the chances of collisions, while modernized navigation systems guide ships with pinpoint accuracy. For captains once forced to rely on maneuvers like the tense Texas chicken, where massive vessels edge past each other in narrow waters, these improvements offer a calmer, surer passage. By protecting ships and their cargo, the project also shields the surrounding environment from the risks of accidents and spills, balancing growth with responsibility. The reach of Project 11 is immense, covering about 40 miles of the Houston Ship Channel. Its price tag, around $1.1 billion, marks not just an investment in infrastructure, but a commitment to the region's economic future. Project 11 delivers $134 million of increased annual economic impact when completed. That equates to $365,000 a day. Sooner is better, and again, it's all about jobs. And divided into six segments, the work is carefully staged to minimize disruption, keeping the channel alive even as it is rebuilt. Planning began more than a decade ago. Dredging started in 2022, and progress has marched forward since. Segments 1A and 2 finished by 2023. Segment 1B is expected to close in the winter of 2024, followed by 1C in 2025. The full picture will not be complete until 2029, when every stretch of the channel stands renewed. Such a project requires power and precision. Twelve carefully crafted construction packages manage the flow of traffic while ensuring steady progress. Advanced Dredgers, Avalon, C.R. McCaskill, and General Arnold have been deployed clawing away at the seabed with unmatched efficiency. Already, more than 459 million cubic feet of material have been removed. Each scoop, each load, it is part of a monumental effort to make way for the ships of tomorrow. These machines embody both strength and care. They can move enormous volumes of earth, yet they are guided with precision to limit environmental impact. Material drawn from the channel is carefully managed, repurposed where possible, turning waste into a resource. In this balance of scale and stewardship lies the project's deeper meaning, a path forward that embraces growth while respecting the environment. By enlarging its maritime capacity, the city secures its place as a global hub, one capable of welcoming the largest ships and handling the heaviest cargoes. The ripple effects reach far beyond the dock. As more ships arrive, more industries benefit, and more jobs are created, and more opportunities take root across the region. Well, not only is the project expected to bring more jobs, officials say it was specially designed to reduce environmental impact to the region. And yet, its impact is not only economic. Sustainability and community engagement have been placed at the center of its design. Environmental safeguards protect fragile ecosystems, while outreach ensures that communities surrounding the channel are part of the conversation. Their concerns shape the project, their voices find space within its planet. As the calendar moves steadily toward 2029, each completed segment carries Houston closer to a transformed waterway, one prepared for the demands of a century defined by scale, speed, and connection. Beyond the ambition of wider waterways and deeper drafts lie a question that cannot be ignored. What is the cost to the land? the water, and the people who live along its banks. The environmental consequences of dredging and disposal are not abstract. They are felt in neighborhoods, in air, in soil, and in the bodies of those who call this region home. In Galena Park, history lingers in the ground itself. For decades, dredged material was deposited near residential areas, and the remnants of those choices remain. In 2019, tests revealed troubling truth. Soil and water, laced with pesticides and heavy metals, their concentrations above established safety thresholds. Such contamination is not easily erased. Dust carried by the wind, or floodwaters rising after storms, threatened to spread these toxins further, exposing families to risks long after the ships have passed. The scale of Project 11 magnifies these concerns. By the year 2050, 
nearly 883 million cubic feet of material will be displaced, with 423 million cubic feet already dredged in this phase alone. Each ton must be managed carefully, for careless disposal could taint ecosystems, seep into waterways, um, and undermine the very communities that border the channel. The challenge is not only one of engineering, but of responsibility. Dust from dredged mounds carries unseen danger. Fine particles, infused with hazardous substances, can travel into nearby homes, into lungs, into lives. Flooding adds another layer of threat, as contaminated embankments risk releasing toxins during heavy rains or hurricanes, events not uncommon to the Gulf Coast. The consequences ripple outward, beyond port traffic, beyond industry, into the very rhythm of daily life in Houston's eastern neighborhoods. Mitigation requires more than machines and barriers. It calls for transparency, for rigorous testing of soil, water, and air. Only constant monitoring can ensure standards are upheld and risks are identified before they grow. Authorities and stakeholders must turn to innovation, reimagining dredge material not as waste, but as a resource. Used for land reclamation, habitat restoration, or shoreline defense, these millions of cubic feet could be transformed into tools for renewal rather than burdens of disposal. Equally vital is the role of the community. Those who live closest to the channel bear the heaviest weight of risk, and their voices must be part of the process. Informing residents, listening to their concerns, and involving them in decisions will create a foundation of trust. Without such engagement, expansion remains incomplete, progress for some, but peril for others. Project 11 can become more than an industrial achievement. It can become a balance model, showing that growth need not come at the cost of the environment. If handled with foresight, it will stand as proof that prosperity and stewardship can sail together. Yet, if the risks are this great, what solutions exist? Can a project of such immense scale also become a force for renewal? As industry advances and maritime arteries grow wider, so too must the responsibility to protect and restore the fragile ecosystems that surround them. Project 11 recognizes this truth. It is not only an engineering expansion, it is a pledge to balance progress with stewardship, to build a channel that welcomes commerce while caring for the life that depends on its waters and shores. One of its most striking innovations lies in the beneficial use of dredged material. What once might have been discarded as waste is now transformed into opportunity. Ten acres of new bird nesting islands will rise from the channel's dredge. Sanctuaries for migratory and native birds alike. In a landscape increasingly claimed by concrete and steel, these islands offer safety, shelter, and renewal. Their presence is more than symbolic. They are lifelines of biodiversity. Reminders that even in the midst of industry, nature can be nurtured. Wetland restoration stands as another pillar of the plan. Nearly 790 acres of wetlands will be built or revitalized, serving as nature's own guardian. Wetlands filter water, absorb pollutants, cradle fish and amphibians, and protect shorelines from the force of storms. In a region where hurricanes are not strangers, these green buffers become essential allies, soaking up floodwaters, reducing damage, and shielding communities. Through them, Project 11 does not merely dredge, it defends. The restoration of oyster reefs brings yet another layer of promise. Between 324 and 376 acres of reefs will return to life. These living fortresses improve water quality, filter impurities, provide homes for marine creatures, and stabilize eroding coasts. They also sustain local economies, supporting fishing communities with healthier, more resilient ecosystems. Here, economy and ecology intertwine, each strengthened by the other. Beyond habitats, the project looks inward, minimizing its own footprint. Advanced Tier 4 dredger engines are employed to cut emissions during construction. These machines meet the most rigorous standards, drastically reducing nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. Cleaner technology ensures that even the act of building the channel leaves behind less harm. And when the expansion is complete, efficiency itself becomes a form of environmental protection. Ships moving smoothly through the widened channel will emit less nitrogen oxide and other pollutants, reduced by an estimated 3 to 7%. Less waiting, less congestion, clean us
For years, the Port of Houston has walked this path of sustainability. Since 2016, it has cut carbon emissions by more than half, 55%, a remarkable testament to its long-standing environmental vision. Looking forward, its goal is bold, net zero emissions by 2050. This is not rhetoric. It is a roadmap, a recognition that the future of trade and the future of the planet must be written together. These commitments are not new, but Project 11 gathers them into one greater whole. From bird islands to wetlands, from oyster reefs to cleaner technology, each element carries the same message. That progress need not mean abandonment of the natural world. The Houston Ship Channel, long a symbol of industrial might, has now become a stage for another story, one of coexistence, of balance, of industry walking hand in hand, with the environment it depends on. Project 11 is not just reshaping a channel, it is setting a precedent, a model for ports across the world. It shows that growth can be bold and still be gentle. That development can surge forward while ecosystems are restored. That a waterway can be both a highway for trade and a haven for life. In this vision lies the true legacy of the project, a reminder that the future of commerce and the health of nature are not separate destinies, but one shared horizon. But while Houston builds a future rooted in balance, what is happening across the waters of the Gulf? How is Mexico reshaping its own maritime destiny? Across the Gulf, Mexico is reshaping its maritime future. Long has been central to the nation's trade, its ports are being modernized to meet the demands of a world where efficiency and scale define competitiveness. At the same time, in Texas, the Houston Ship Channel pushes ahead with its 11th expansion, ensuring its place as one of North America's most vital corridor. At the center of Mexico's plan is Veracruz. Backed by more than $410 million, the port's capacity is set to triple, reaching 95 million tons a year. Its centerpiece is a 2.7-mile breakwater, the longest in Latin America, built to shield vessels from rough seas and welcome the megaships that dominate modern shipping. By April 2025, Veracruz will not only be bigger but smarter, equipped with advanced logistics and faster cargo handling. Farther north, Altamira is embracing technology. Automation and electronic cargo tracking are streamlining operations, offering real-time visibility and energy efficiency. As a smart port, Altamira is positioning itself as both environmentally responsible and globally competitive, giving shippers speed and transparency. Meanwhile, across the water, Houston's Project 11 is widening and deepening its channel. Larger ships, less congestion, and improved safety will keep energy exports and petrochemicals flowing to global markets. Like Veracruz and Altamira, Houston's expansion rests on collaboration between industry and government, underscoring infrastructure as the backbone of economic strength. This is a project of national significance, national importance that's going to matter not just to everyone in our region, not just to everyone in our state, but to every single person in our country. Project 11 represents far more than a massive dredging and engineering. Project 11 isn't just an expansion. It's a blueprint for the future of North American trade. Together with Mexico's modernized ports, it sets the stage for decades of growth, speed, and connection. But the real challenge will be keeping progress balanced with the Gulf's fragile ecosystem. If you enjoy the ride through these mega projects, smash that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. We've got plenty more stories from the edge of tomorrow. Thanks for watching.